What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you the easiest way to create metahumans inside of Unreal Engine. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so as you might know, with the new Unreal Engine 5.6 version, we can now create metahumans directly inside of the editor. We don't have to go into this cloud service and do it from there, so it's just way faster and easier. But first, to do so, we have to enable two little plugins. So in the Epic Games launcher, just go to your Unreal Engine version, click on options and make sure that you have MetaHuman Creator Core Data enabled. If you haven't already, just click on enable and then apply and it will install a five gig update. And then you will have the MetaHuman plugin inside of the whole engine. And now it is time to go into your actual Unreal Engine project. So inside of your Unreal Engine project, you have to enable then the plugin itself. So you just go up into Edit, Plugins, search for MetaHuman, and you will see this MetaHuman Creator plugin, which is right now in beta, but you know it works pretty pretty well. Just so click Apply. Yes, I know it's in beta, and then restart now, and we will have the MetaHuman plugin enabled. Okay, the editor restarted, and now we have the MetaHuman plugin both installed and enabled in the project. So we're good to go. Now it is time to finally start creating our own MetaHuman. So for this, let's go to the content browser, right click, and you will find a new MetaHuman section. And here you just click on MetaHuman character and then start creating. Let's call this something as MC for MetaHuman character, underscore, and then whatever it is, right? In my case, let me just leave it as character because I have no name for this tutorial. Open this up. And then as you open it up for the first time, you might see some plugins that you might need to enable just click on enable missing and that's it okay the next time that you restart the project they will apply but don't worry those plugins that are required are not essential for right now so again just click on restart later and boom here we go we are inside of the new metahuman creator in the editor of unreal engine 5.6 upwards okay now as you can see we have a couple of windows and a very simple ui First things first, we have the viewport where we can go ahead and move around and rotate our character to see how everything is looking. You'll do this pretty similar to the normal viewport in Unreal Engine, but with a couple of different controls. So with the right mouse button, we zoom in and out. With the left mouse button, we can rotate the character. And then with the middle mouse, we can zoom in and out, but a bit faster, okay? And then last but not least, with the middle mouse button, we can move around up and down and left and right, okay? And we can... Uh, Go ahead and have full control of our character. Then, of course, we have the whole section of customization. That's how we call it, <laughs> which is where all the tabs are available to actually create the meta human. And this is actually the most important part because it's where we actually create the meta human. So, first things first, I recommend to just go to the presets and select a starting point for your meta human. In this case, we have this ones over here. They are pretty pretty cool. And let's see, let's just find a simple metahuman. For example, Victor. Double click on it, and you will see that it will start to add it into the viewport. And we can use this preset as the whole character or a starting point to customize it and create our own. So it's up to you. You can literally now export this character and let's say you have a metahuman in game. But probably most of you will want to customize this character. Now, first thing first, you can see that the quality <laughs> is pretty insane. Just make sure they have LOD0 selected and the graphics on Epic so you can see everything as the highest quality. Obviously, if you have a lower hardware, you can then lower this stuff. Anyway, so now it is time to go to the body and start to actually play around with some stuff. So you will see three different types of uh, options. We have blend, conform, and model. Blend is essentially just getting different body types and blending them together uh, to form a kind of a mixture between all of them, if that makes sense. Conform is basically we can import an external file. So imagine that in Blender, you created your own mesh, you can import that and we can fit it in to create more custom metahumans and make them stylized and have them on um, with their own shape. It's quite interesting, but of course it's a bit more advanced. This might be for another tutorial. Let me know down in the comments if you want to make your own custom body types and head types and all that stuff. And then last but not least, we have the model where it's just some sliders that we can modify and it's quite, quite straightforward. We can just ex 
Let me expand this obviously a bit later and we can start to increase this like the fat, the height and all of this values just have in mind and uh, maybe there's a, it's a bit laggy when you initially start to play with them so you know have a bit of uh, patience but yeah you can see that you can get very interesting results which is quite cool but honestly this is just playing around to get what you want obviously you know it's really up to you you want a more of a stylized character or realistic so you have to have in mind all the body proportions and all this kind of stuff so obviously this is just up to you whatever you want to change change it okay i'm not gonna go step by step into every single option because it doesn't make sense right you use what you want to use and that's it um, but yeah if you want me to make a tutorial on conform let me know and also on blend uh, but model is the easiest one and probably the one that you will use the most once you have your starting point right then of course we move on into the head where we can start to get little pieces right and start to move them around which is quite cool so obviously there's a lot of control that you can have in the meta humans and this is quite cool but this is basically blend and blend is once I mentioned uh, earlier it's literally blending different meta humans together to get like a mixture we are not interested in that we have things as for example conform also where we can import a head model like I just show you a couple of seconds ago well I didn't show you but I explained to you so again if you want to tutorial on that let me know so this can be like an FBX model from blender or magic whatever then we got transform where we can actually move them around which is quite cool so this is actually what I was trying to do before but you have to go to the option of transform and now you can start to actually you know move them around and create a really cool meta human right and obviously this gives you a lot of control and a lot of cool stuff uh, you are not only limited to the screen space but you can also rotate them which is quite cool and you can uh, scale them so yeah it's quite interesting and obviously you have some controls here about the size and the speed to have a bit of more of uh, you know control over your stuff and then you can also sculpt um, you can literally like do these things which is is similar to the transform but it kind of adds to pause you over and if that makes sense so it's quite cool it's really really interesting and then finally we got the teeth and eyelashes well the teeth is straightforward you can just move this around change the teeth and you can even go and select what option you want to change and it's really really cool we can change the jaw up and <laughs> it's quite cool honestly yeah a lot of cool stuff and obviously we also have the eyelashes that I can explain so you can change this stuff up and it's pretty cool so obviously the first time that you do stuff it will take a bit more because it's loading in the shaders and all that stuff but once you do it for the first time then it will be a bit easier and faster and then we also got the materials which is quite its own section where you can change things as for example the skin tone you can go ahead and change the eyes over here so maybe one some blue eyes or some green eyes it's pretty pretty cool you can change the form of the iris and a lot of primary and secondary color and the rotation and the blends so yeah a lot of control which i will not go in depth because it's the easiest way to the greater made human but you get the idea you can just play around with all that stuff and then we got makeup <laughs> if you actually want makeup you can add some makeup in sections and you also have the teeth and eyelashes so we could make some uh you know kind of orange teeth or certain super white teeth so it's really up to you we can reduce the plaque increase the plaque and all that stuff so yeah it's pretty cool we also can do it for the eyelashes obviously and then obviously we got the hair one of the most important things so we got a lot of options and a lot of hairstyles and i think each time they add more hairstyles some years ago we were a bit more limited but now we actually have some really cool hairstyles there we go look how cool this looks and obviously everything is with physics and it works and honestly it's just uh quite quite cool um so yeah there's a lot of hairstyles here and not only for the actual hair but also for the eyebrows as we saw also before and all that stuff but now if we keep scrolling down we also have for the mustache so facial hair 
for the whole beard. And then we start to get some default clothing. So yes, on here is where it gets interesting because each time um, there's more creators uploading clothes and hairstyles to fab. So now in fab, you can unload many human pieces, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, this will give us a lot of control for all this stuff. And yeah, we got a cool meta human going on over here. You can also, once again, play around with all the colors and the uh, color of the shirt and the outfit and all the stuff, the pants and yeah, a lot of cool, cool, cool stuff. So this is really up to you and, and you can get whatever type of customization you want. It's kind of interesting but yeah we can get the clothes off <laughs> put the clothes in and like i said if you were to go ahead and create your own you know data assets for the clothing you can get really crazy with it and then finally the assembly is just exporting the character to the content browser so we can select a preset in this case i recommend to use ue optimized and the quality on high so it's optimized but it looks insane and then this is where you want to save it so we can do it here in game under metahumans the name and that's it but you will see that the character is not rigged that's why we have to rig it so just create on full rig and then it's gonna open up this website and then we have to log in which is a bit Annoying, but yes, rigging is outside of Unreal. So let's just uh, log in. And then once you log in, the tab will close of the browser and then you go back here. So yes, so still this uh, MediMan creator uses some stuff on the cloud, but it's different because the main thing is on the editor on your client. And then for specific stuff, you just call the server, like for example, to rig it or some stuff, right? So it's really, really cool compared to before. And it's still amazing because for those that don't have an actual powerful, powerful PC, they can go ahead and use this still because there are some things that are done like we're doing right now, like the rig on the server. So it's quite cool. Uh, it gives you a lot of control. But yeah, uh, of course, things might take a bit more time because it's running on the server and it's downloading and stuff. But, you know, it's just a couple of minutes and it's applying the DNA to the outer rigging service, whatever. And in a couple of seconds, we will have the whole character rigged and ready to be used in gameplay. Boom, here we go. As you can see now, we have a timeline because it is animated, which is quite cool. So now, as you can see, the asset you're editing is rigged. Preset and material selections and model and prices require that the rig is deleted to unlock editing. So yeah, that means that we cannot uh, go ahead and edit the metahuman because it's already rigged. So that now means that we have to go ahead and export it. So you can see that we cannot go ahead and export it because we have to do one last thing, which is to load the textures. So you can choose the option that you want, in this case, for example, 4K. And now once again, it will go ahead and communicate with the server to download the textures and that will enable us to export now the metahuman. So yeah, as you can see, there's a couple of steps when you create the metahuman. First of all, you actually model it, which is what they call editing it. Then you rig it, then you download the texture quality that you want. And then finally, what we're gonna be doing right now is actually export it to the content browser. And it's pretty cool. And one thing that, as you can see, it popped up, which is very important, is that once the character is rigged, you cannot no longer go ahead and edit it. You will have to delete the rig to do it again. And now that's it, we have everything. So we can just reopen the assembly tab over here, select the quality that we want. So optimize, high, the root, the name, and then assemble. And now it actually lets us export the character. And in a couple of seconds, we will have the character in the content browser, which means that we essentially can use this metahuman at any point and in any place that we want. So we're gonna be doing this for the player character, the third person character. We're gonna be adding this character in, into the gameplay. So let's just wait a couple more seconds. That's it, it has successfully exported. So we go here, you'll see that we have a MetaHumans folder and we got the MC character with its own blueprint. So now we can open this up, go to the viewport and boom, we have the MetaHuman <laughs> over here which is so, so cool. 
as you can see it depends on the LOD if we get close the eyes disappear this is just the LOD uh, bugging if you want to fix it just change the number of LODs to 2 and put the force to 1 and that way we have the eyes but anyway now let's go ahead and compound save and let's actually change it with our third person character so let's open up the third person character blueprint which is this one over here and let's also open up our metahuman blueprint which is this one over here literally to go and copy everything so all the components from body downwards copy select the mesh paste them in so now basically just select the body and drag it inside of the mesh okay so you can see now it's on there and then reset this to things so we're in position now still the character will not be animated because we need to do one quick thing which is to do a real-time retarder so to do this we can go to the construction script get the main mesh and then set leader post component the new leader will be this mesh which is essentially the parent mannequin but for all the other stuff we can get the body the face and the scout mesh itself to be the target and now if we do this you will see that it will start to follow the animations but we need to do one last thing which is to disable the mannequin so select it go to visibility disable it but set the uh, a name option to always tick and refresh bones and when we do that we go ahead and have the metahuman in the game and we can play around it and we literally did it in a couple of minutes so that's it guys i found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have a lot of unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out if you want to actually master unreal engine 5 check out my unreal club the link is in the description and now yes with all i said bye bye